Gaudeamus omnes in Domino, diem festum celebrantes sub honore, Beate Marie Virginis Regi. Solemnitate Gauden Tangeli Et collaudant Filium Dei All the riches of the people long to see your face. Behind her, her maiden companions are escorted to the king. Her attendants are escorted to you amid gladness and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today we keep the memorial of Our Lady of Walsingham. Uh, it's uh, an ancient feast connected with that place in the southeast of England, in the county of Norfolk, going back to the 11th or possibly the 12th century. And uh, um, a lady who was inspired to build a copy of the Holy House of Bethlehem here in England, uh, which of course traditionally is the dowry of Mary. Uh, Richeldis de Favache uh, had a vision and uh, in, as she was instructed so she sought to do and the house was constructed and became a place of uh, pilgrimage and a shrine until the reformation when it was destroyed uh, then it was restored um, in about 1897 I think it was the, the Catholic um, shrine was established and then the Anglican uh, restored in the 1920s. So there's been, um, you know, uh, this idea of, of, of unity, particularly between Anglican and Catholic, associated with it. And it has these days replaced the feast of Our Lady of Ransom, uh, where we celebrated the, the England being the dowry of Mary. So again, there's that emphasis on restoration of England to its Catholic roots and unity between Anglicans and Catholics in the one true Catholic and Apostolic Church, which we pray for uh, daily and as we go along. The Mass is offered for the Holy Souls. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as in the mystery of the Incarnation, the Blessed and Ever-Virgin Mary conceived your Son in her heart before she conceived him in the womb, so we, your pilgrim people, rejoicing in her motherly care, may welcome him into our hearts and become a holy house fit for his eternal dwelling, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subjects of the law, and to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are sons is that God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit that cries, Abba, Father, and it is this that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore, and if God has made you son, then he has made you heir. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Woman, this is your son, this is your mother, and from that moment the disciple made a place for her in his home. That's what we're asked to do, to make a place for Mary in our homes, because as Mary found a home in that house um, in Nazareth, provided for her by St. Joseph, so we must provide a home for uh, God's mother and indeed uh, the son that comes um, in our hearts because that's our role as Christians to provide a place where God can live and from which he can reach out and touch the lives of others. This is to be the case in our land, in this land of England. It's also to be a, the case in our parishes and our communities and in our own homes, our own hearts. And so we pray fervently to Mary that she may help us to make that home in our hearts, that as God lives in us, he may also uh, reach out and touch the lives of others. It's our calling as Christians, if we cannot make a home there, as it were, a foundation in our hearts, then how are we to take him out to others? Mary made a place in her heart for Christ, the Christ child, and then he came into her womb, and from there she took the good news out to Elizabeth, and thus began the spreading of the good news to the ends of the earth. We must do the same, and pray to Mary who teaches us.
to be humble like she was and to accept God's will as she did, that God may live in us and work through us always. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you, and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit, and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation 
and count it among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he sent the blessing, blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be, be borne by the hands of your holy angel, in, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit as we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Praise the Lord our God, for in Mary his handmaid he has fulfilled his promise of mercy to the house of Israel. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honour the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina. Mater misericordia, vita dulce do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, et unes filii heve, a te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in ad lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, in os tuos, Misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O, 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 o,